Hello, I'm Brian Johnson. I'm an emergency physician, and today we're gonna to use the Clary's Pal to identify the ulnar nerve for an ulnar nerve block. And so you have the patient lying supine, forearm extended. Um, you're gonna have your Clary's app um, set on the nerve setting. And what I typically do is I just take the ultrasound probe and go to the mid forearm. Now the adage with forearm nerve blocks are, there's three of them. So there's the radial nerve, the medial nerve, and then the ulnar nerve. And so the ulnar nerve, which we're looking for today, sits ulnar to the ulnar artery, much like the radial nerve sits radial to the radial artery. And so typically I sometimes rotate the forearm over. And what I'm looking for is to be honest, not the ulnar nerve, but I'm actually looking for oftentimes the ulnar artery, which you're seeing right here. Now an artery is pulsatile and non-compressible, which you're seeing here. I'm gonna improve our depth to look closer. So you see a pulsatile structure and then surrounding it is the ulnar nerve, and it's ulnar to the ulnar artery. Now, the interesting thing about nerves is they're sort of honeycombed, they're bright, and they have what's called anisotropy. So when you rock up and down, they sometimes can get brighter and darker. Now, what you wanna do is march up and down the form, looking for a place where the ulnar nerve sort of separates away from that artery, which gives you the safest approach to place a needle. Now look right here. Sort of in the mid forearm, we see that the ulnar nerve sort of separates from that ulnar artery. And this would be a great place to perform the ulnar nerve block. So, you know, you can perform ulnar nerve blocks um, blindly, but with ultrasound, um, it improves your accuracy and it can kind of minimize your, your complications.